New tonight at 10, police say a ring of thieves are targeting skill games in convenience stores. They say the thieves can disable the machines and get the cash out in record time. Action News reporter Dan Cuellar spoke to store owners in Northeast Philadelphia tonight. At a growing number of convenience stores across the region, owners are installing these games of skill machines that people can play for cash prizes. They're actually getting pretty popular. Uh, some of the stores I've been in, you'll see three, four, five people playing the games and then you go to the cashier for a payout. But the machines are also becoming quite popular with a ring of thieves. Surveillance footage shows two or three men walking into the store. They walk over to the machines, knock them to the floor, and then begin smashing them and smashing them with sledgehammers until they break open the money box and run off with the cash. It happens so fast, as you'll see in the video, they're out in a minute to a minute and a half. So they, they, they move with precision, they're quick. What's so blatant and alarming is that these smash and grab crimes are being committed while the stores are open for business with clerks and customers inside. It was very scary. They have sludge hammer in their hand and uh, they have all, like they, they put a uh, scarf on the, they were like behind the mask. We told our cashier don't mess with them. It's uh, unsafe for my employees and uh, our staff too and all customers as well. A growing number of stores are being hit, particularly in the northeast section of Philadelphia. Police say some of the stores have been hit more than once. We have about two dozen jobs since October. Some of the stores have been hit multiple times. Like I said, they include these smaller convenience stores with the gas stations like the Golfs and the uh, Sunoco's. Aside from the lawlessness of these acts, police would like to catch this trio quickly before someone gets hurt. If you recognize any of these men, you're being asked to call police. In Northeast Philadelphia, Dan Quayer, Action News at 10 on PHL 17.